friends, it's Valerie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. This week I have a grocery haul video for you and hope that you enjoy it. Um, I've also got a few things in there from Ikea just for uh, some jars for organizing things and doing my cocoa bar. I'm not putting the cocoa bar together in the video. It's just showing you what I got and let's just get to that. All right, also I have a grocery haul from quite a few different places here right now. Um, and let's just start over here. So I went to Ralph's and I got some of these different Quaker bars. We got the peanut butter dipped ones, um, the chocolate chip dipped, and the strawberry yogurt one, which is my favorite. And then just um, the variety pack. Uh, my boyfriend just started a new job. And so these things come in really handy for packing in lunches or taking in the morning. Um, so I just wanted to pick up some of those and then it needed eggs. So I just picked up a thing of eggs also needed, um, some yogurt cause I'm going to make like a Greek dish coming up soon. And I wanted to make tzatziki. So I just have some of that. I needed tomato sauce. So I grabbed a few cans of those. And then, um, I really like these, uh, Crooker brand like cheese singles. They're kind of like a craft single. They're they're nothing fancy at all. But the pepper jack flavored one, um, I like those on breakfast sandwiches. And because I don't normally eat breakfast, but uh, my life schedule is now turned a little different because of my boyfriend's new job. So um, I probably will have start having some breakfast or a light or something. And I like breakfast sandwiches, so I really like that on those or even a plain bagel to go. I think they're delicious. So anyways, I grabbed those and then. Um, I got some beef chorizo, uh, possibly for a recipe if I don't end up just using it for breakfast one day. And then these Chobani coconut uh, strawberry yogurts. So these are so different than regular yogurt. We recently tried them. I don't know if that'll focus. Um, but it's like uh, coconut milk instead of whole milk. So it doesn't feel so like, oh, it's so hard to explain. To me, it's like the difference between like, you know, like, full-on dairy ice cream versus, like, frozen yogurt. Like, if that makes sense. Like, the lighter version of it. So, that's what this is like. But I actually really like that, um, like, lighter version of that. So, um, I had coupons for these for free. So, I grabbed all those for him to have in the morning before work. And also, um, for me, I'm pretty stocked on yogurt for myself right now. So, uh, I'm not even worry about my, any for me right now and then I went to Walmart just for this um I wanted this big old thing of cocoa um I have the worst angle right now sorry guys um my space is so limited um but yeah this is a big old container it's like 45 ounces almost 46 ounces and uh it's like five something which is really good uh I was gonna get the Sam's Club one it's bigger and a little bit more expensive but I'm like Last time I got it, I didn't end up using it all, and it kind of wasted on some of it. So I figured this one's just fine for me. I'm just using it to fill for my cocoa bar, and then, um, which I haven't done yet, and it's kind of saddening because it's already like December now. But uh, I needed some new canisters for marshmallows and such, and um, I was gonna go to IKEA for them and. It's a little bit of ways, so I hadn't got to go yet, but I finally got them, and I, I'll be showing you those too, not in this little video, but I'll show them. And then, um, just picked up some candy canes for another jar, and then I went to Albertsons, and I grabbed a thing of milk, um, some old-fashioned creamy peanut butter, and, um, some English muffins. I like those in the morning as well, especially for breakfast sandwiches. So, and I love the sourdough version of those, so I grabbed some of those. Um, a couple rolls, um, either for sandwiches to send to lunch for my boyfriend, or if not, I've been cutting them into like little rounds and putting like butter and garlic and cheese and uh, toasting those up. And they are delicious, and I'm kind of addicted. So, we'll see. Anyways, so I also grabbed um, this like bagel, but it's like a jalapeno cheddar bagel. And I got another thing of this cheese and I'm probably going to go back and get a couple more because, um, what was I saying? Um, I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to go back and get a couple more because of the fact that I have 50% off coupons and that makes them about 
four dollars for the two pound block which is really great so um while i still have that which expires like in a like four more days from now i'm gonna go ahead and probably pick up one or two more of those and then for produce i picked up a cucumber um a couple of uh, poblano peppers and a uh, red bell pepper and green bell pepper these are for a recipe and some cilantro and then i um they had these frozen vegetables for like a dollar 25 and I had dollar off coupons so that makes them like a quarter a bag so I picked up a summer vegetable a spring vegetable and two of the California vegetables um these are just nice to have on hand I'm not sure if I'm going to use them for what like specific recipes or not but I like to have we like to have fish a lot or chicken and like vegetables and rice so things like that are perfect also I can meal prep maybe something for my boyfriend for lunch for a week um and then um, this is still from Albertson. So I got a couple avocados. I picked some almonds up, some whole plain, some roasted and salted. And these are going to be for like his lunch bag. Um, I like to put things like that and little dried fruits and such. And then a few um, bananas here. Um, also for him to have in the morning. Also grabbed some oranges. These are all for his lunch bag. I want like one per day. Um, I'll, I'll restock on these because they're on sale right now for like 49 cents a pound uh, and then I have a coupon too so uh, I'll restock on those but I'm going to wait a few days until like uh, the produce starts to like be almost gone because I don't want waste to waste produce or to go bad first so um, then I went to uh, Sprouts really quick just because they had these collagen um, skin tea it looks like the brand skin tea um they're collagen sparkling teas i've never tried them but they have 3,000 milligrams of collagen in them um as well as some herbs and antioxidants i got the green tea grapefruit flavor and um these are like four dollars a can but they had a coupon for a free one so we utilized those my boyfriend and i each got a free one and then there was like these were on sale for 269 i really like that uh, aged white cheddar uh, pirates booty <laughs> and uh what a name huh and I really like these but I haven't had them in a long time but um they had they were $2.69 on sale and then there was $2 off coupon so they were like 69 cents a bag so I went and grabbed those and then some food for the cats I just went to PetSmart because I had some points to use up and uh, I wanted to get uh, food for the cats and because it's harder for me to find the the kitten food at places I grab kitten food because for my adult cats when I'm at any store Target Walmart it's way easier to find their food so I uh, I can get it there whenever they run out um, and I can use my like Target card for like the disc the extra discount on it at Target for their food um, but yeah so I just use all my points up and grabbed her some extra food there to stock up and then I went to the dollar store and uh, just looking for some snacks that were like on um, the least expensive price point but while still being like in quantity like I don't want little bags of things for a dollar but they have this big old bag of um it's not so large but it's not like the tiny snack bag it's a 10 ounce bag of Snyder's um braided twist honey wheat uh breadstick things um I really like those I haven't had them in years but uh yeah, I picked those up because they were a dollar. And then just a thing of mini pretzels um, to put in my boyfriend's lunch bag for snacks. I also grabbed a couple of those canisters. Let me see here. Those canisters um, that I got before. I needed a couple more. And then some cherry tomatoes for recipe as well as a couple pounds of uh, zucchini. And that is all. All right, y'all, so I just wanted to show these few, like, organization organizational things that I got um, from Ikea. I went there to look for some, uh, just a few different things to start changing some organization things at home. Um, there's quite a few projects I like to do, um, but I don't have too many funds to do them. And Ikea is a very low-cost place, and I also had... Um, my boyfriend's birthday month is this month so we had the ikea birthday coupon to use so i went ahead and made sure to utilize that and i was on the hunt for jars um for like my cocoa bar 
Um, these are a little bit bigger than I wanted, but it was either way smaller or way larger. Um, so I went with this size, uh, and I figured this is a decent size for me to reuse uh, when I'm not using them for just like the cocoa bar stuff. Uh, let's see if these say how many ounces they are. I don't see any ounces on them, but I believe they're 32 ounce jars. And then I'm still on the hunt for making a spice rack. And I was looking for jars. I've bought many, taken them back. They weren't like what I'm looking for. Um, they're a little bit thinner or things like that. And when doing cooking videos, yeah, there's certain there are certain like spices that I um, like the shaker top for, like my garlic powder, my onion powder, like when I'm just so I feel like I have a small spice rack just for that. But I want to make like another one that has like um, a wider mouth so I can put measuring spoons in there um, to follow recipes. And uh, I saw these, and they're actually a great solution. So I, I opened it and assembled one, so you can see. Same thing with this, I opened it and assembled one. So if you want to take a look at that, you can put the rubber seal in there like that. I wish they were clear, but um, it will be fine. And then I'll try to open that for you with one hand here. There we go. And same thing with that, rubber seal. All that, so nice, large, wide mouth. I believe these are four ounce jars. Um, so that's great. Let's see if I can close that with one hand though. And nope, I'm not coordinated enough apparently. Oh, there we go. All right, so yeah, just snaps down, creates that airtight seal because of that gasket there. Um, and four ounce jars, which is good because I'm going to keep like things I would use larger amounts in, which will be very nice. And then, um, I love their Ziploc bags or like their food storage bags, um, because they are nice and thick they have two like double zippers and i got these smaller pack and then the medium sized um i need to go back and get some more i'll do that next week on my boyfriend's days off because we only have the one car that we're working with so it's like i can't go when he's at work um so yeah so i like them because they carry let's see how many are here so 30 of each of these in this small package here and it's only like uh like a dollar 99 for this and so that's a great price, and um, I like that it. it's multi-pack. So it has a one liter bags, which are 34 fluid ounces, and then 14 ounces. So it's split, and it has two different kinds inside. I haven't opened one. I'll try to show you in a second here. I just didn't get it down. And then um, the same thing with this. Double in that, 25 of each. And then it shows you like 2.5 liters, 1.2 liters. Um, so I like the combination of both. So you have variety and also for a low cost. And let me grab that other one and I'll show you. All right, so they have larger ones like this. This is one I already had, but yeah, they're separated like this by a little cardboard and it has um, both the sizes there. And for these ones, it is a six quart and five quart bag. Um, so nice big bags on those ones. And this is just an open one of those smaller ones there. Um, just your sandwich style bag, a little bit bigger. And, um, they're nice and they don't feel all super thin. Um, and they have these two zippers here. They always work really well for me and for the price you cannot beat that. Thanks so much for watching friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all have an amazing week.